Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace, Chairman of the United States Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, Senator Richard Burr, and a delegation from the United States Senate upon their visit to the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed the senator and the accompanying delegation and reviewed with them the historic and strategic relations between the two countries, affirming his pride in the Bahrain-U.S. relations that is based on mutual respect and trust, as well as cooperation and coordination in all fields. His Majesty hailed the role of the American community in Bahrain and their contribution in various fields of development and expressed aspirations for the development of Bahrain-U.S. relations in all fields. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain continues to develop in all fields expressing pride in the Bahraini values of solidarity and respect of all religions and sects. His Majesty noted the U.S.'s role and efforts in maintaining the regional and international security and stability, affirming the Kingdom's support to these efforts. His Majesty also noted the importance of such visits that strengthen relations and cooperation between the two countries. Senator Burr expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty the King's keenness to develop and consolidate the historic relations between the two friendly countries, hailing Bahrain's role in maintaining the security of the region in cooperation with the United States. He also affirmed the U.S.'s keenness to develop these relations and bolster cooperation to maintain the region's stability. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited the Kanu family to offer his condolences on the demise of Mubarak bin Jassim Kanu, praying to Allah to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty recalled the achievements of the late Mubarak Kanu and his contributions to the commercial development of Bahrain, as well as his humanitarian initiatives and charity work, affirming that he had dedicated his life and services to his country and community. His Majesty also highlighted the role of the Kanu family and his contributions to economic investment and charitable activities and projects aimed at serving the Bahraini society. For their part, Kanu family members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind sentiments and sincere condolences. They wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadibiya Palace senior officials, journalists, businessmen, intellectuals and a number of members of the Representatives Council where he discussed with them a number of local affairs. His Royal Highness affirmed that the kingdom will remain strong under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He recalled with pride the honorable stances of the people of Bahrain in defending their country, saying that the people's patriotic stances alongside the government were able to throttle all a treacherous attempts aimed at undermining Bahrain's unity, security and stability. The Premier stressed the importance of unity in the face of all attempts to spread hatred and sedition among the Bahraini society. He then warned against the negative effect of misusing social media, expressing thanks and appreciation to writers, media figures and activists on social media for interacting with the cause. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of unity and cooperation in the build-up process of the country as development, highlighting the encouragement of all efforts exerted for the sake of the kingdom's prosperity. He also stressed that those who try to drag the country to the division shall not succeed in their task. His Royal Highness expressed his thanks and appreciation to the members of the Representatives Council and Shura Council for their cooperation with the executive authority and their keenness on instating the spirit of understanding in their efforts in achieving the citizens' aspirations. His Royal Highness praised the role of media and press for their covering of all issues related to public affairs within the framework of national responsibility. He also commended Bahrain women for their perseverance and achievements which enable them to be role models.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Khadibiya Palace the Minister of the Royal Court Affairs Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa who presented to His Royal Highness an invitation to his son's wedding Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of the Royal Court Affairs for the invitation congratulating Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa and wishing him a happy married life. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today visited the General Command of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF. During the visit, His Royal Highness received a briefing on military upgrades and skills development programs intended to increase operational capabilities and experience. His Royal Highness emphasized the important role the BDF plays in safeguarding the Kingdom's security and stability and noted His Majesty the King's continued support for the BDF's operational development development efforts. His Royal Highness went on to highlighting the participation of BDF personnel led by the BDF Commander-in-Chief in specialized military programs across the region, noting that their wide range and valued contributions reflect the BDF's commitment to upholding regional security. His Royal Highness was received by the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, the BDF's Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi, and a number of senior BDF officers. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at the General Command of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, U.S. Senator Richard Burr, along with a number of U.S. Senators. Present also at this meeting was Commander-in-Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, in addition to a number of officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted that the strategic partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America America is based on a high level of communication and effective coordination, which is supported by the close visions of various issues and the necessity of maintaining security and stability on the international scene. His Royal Highness also stressed the need to continue efforts to build on what has been achieved in the field of combating terrorism through effective policies and actions, citing it has as a shared responsibility of the international community as a whole and promotes further development gain that benefits all. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of the Bahrain Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended his sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the great success of His Majesty the King's Endurance Cup and the victory of Al Rood Stables. His Highness Sheikh Nasser highlighted that His Majesty Majesty's attendance of the championship reflects his unlimited support to the endurance sport. 
His Highness also lauded the presence of the Vice President and Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, hailing in this regard the participation of the Emirati riders in the championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that this race is a prominent sports event among the Bahraini endurance races due to the unwavering support it receives from His Majesty the King. His Highness also commended the role of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation and its chairman, the President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised Arwad stable riders and their outstanding performance affirming to continue support of the sport. His Highness commended the role of the sponsor, Gulf Finance House Group, and its contribution to the success of the race, adding that the support of the group aids to the development of sports in Bahrain. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, Honorary President of Bahrain Sports Federation for the Disabled, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa continues his training to participate in the lightweight competition in the Strongest Bahraini Man Championship, held under his patronage and organized by His Highness's media office themed Be A Monster from February 22nd until the 24th. His Highness dedicated the proceeds of the championship to the support of cancer patients, which come within His Highness's initiative supporting humanitarian and sport fields. His Highness Sheikh Khaled affirmed that his participation in the championship motivates Bahraini youth to participate as well and showcase their technical and physical capabilities, noting his support to the youth. His Highness hailed the wide participation of Bahrainis in the championship, which encourages young people to practice various sports. Sheikh Khaled affirmed that the wide participation motivates him to perform his best and praised the efforts of the championship's supreme organizing committee. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, presided over by the Council's chairman, Ali bin Saleh al-Saleh. The Council approved a majority of the recommendations submitted by the Council's Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee on a supplementary report regarding a draft law of organizing the registration of births and deaths accompanied by Royal Decree 91 of 2013. The Council approved the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee's recommendation of a number of articles following their renumbering. Under the patronage of the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, and in the presence of the President of the Bank, Bank al Salam, Sheikh Hissa bin Khalifa al Khalifa al Iman School organized the Achieving Success Forum to discuss their experience participating in the Arab Reading Challenge to government and private schools. The Education Minister delivered a speech in which he hailed al Iman School's initiative of organizing the forum to demonstrate their efforts in achieving honorable results in the competition. The Minister affirmed the Minister pride in the outstanding achievement the school made, noting the ministry's keenness on developing students' reading skills through the continuous update of school curriculums and the employment of information and telecommunication technology in education. He noted that the ministry obligates private schools that include Arab students to teach them a number of subjects in Arabic and to provide the required books for free. For her part, the principal of the girls' section at Al Iman School, Farat Tulemat, stated that the forum aims to unify future visions between government and private schools and to increase distinguished educational competencies who contribute to the improvement of educational outcomes in all its stages. The Ministry of Housing announced today its distribution of a number of residential units to women listed on the waiting list in the East Hid City and apartments in Hajiyat and Tubli, marking the 17th anniversary of the National Action Charter and uh, commensurate with the constitutional warranties of Bahraini women's rights. The Minister of Housing, Engineer Bassem bin Yaqub al Hamar, said that the distribution process stems from His Majesty the King's support to the housing sector to provide adequate housing for citizens and from Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sibika bint Ibrahim al-Khalifa, 
appreciation of the role of women as an essential partner in society and supporter of the development march led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa through His Majesty's reform project. He added that the ministry is keen on providing the right for housing for women, which is one of the important rights guaranteed by the Bahraini constitution, which ensures women's inclusion in the categories eligible for housing services. The Masakan project is one of the main projects that reflect the ministry's keenness to provide housing needs for women and the results of cooperation between the Supreme Council for Women and the Housing Ministry. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdullah. Bahrain O share index has closed at 1,332.51 points, marking a decrease of 7.21 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks and investment sector. Investors traded mainly in the commercial banks, with 49% of total shares, 60 transactions included, 3,298,623 shares worth 662,633 Bahraini dinars. Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry hosted an open meeting on public-private partnership opportunities at the BCCI. This meeting is organized by the Chamber. In collaboration with the World Organization for Sustainable Development and the United Kingdom at Ahliya University, on the sidelines of the 16th Annual Conference to be held at the UN Palace in Geneva next April. The aim of the meeting was to introduce investment opportunities for the public and private sectors, especially in the fields of education, health, energy, information technology, and banking services, in addition to the real estate, oil, and tourism sectors, with a number of advantages such as the comprehensive definition of the United Nations Sustainable Development Agenda 2030 and its objectives with the deals of the issue of public-private partnership. As part of the 2018 American Discovery Week, the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance, BIBF, organized a workshop on how to create business in the United States. The workshop organized in cooperation with the U.S. Embassy focused on the success stories of Bahraini investments in the United States, particularly those benefiting from the free trade agreement between Manama and Washington, which came into effect in 2006. Participants in the workshop stressed the continued strength of the FDA, the success of the kingdom in attracting investments from the United States and benefit of the large segment of a Bahraini businessmen and traders from preferential treatment in the U.S. market thanks to the FDA.